Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Well, we have had on and off bursts of snow here for about the last 36 hours. It seems like every time the sun comes up or comes down, there's fresh snow to be seen. And we had that this morning with the passage of a system dropping just a little bit of snow, pretty much what we thought. In Bismarck, you picked up 1.6 inches of snow just under that in Mandan, an inch and a half in Taylor, an inch to the west in Beach, as well as an inch in Glenola. And this does not count... Um, what fell this evening because the official numbers haven't come in yet from the National Weather Service. But I think for at least Bismarck, Mandan, maybe even Glen Ullen, you can probably add an inch or so to those numbers. Because of that snow tonight, here's the DOT map. Just a little bit of snow covered and, and slushy roads, pretty much from about Glen Ullen over to it looks like steel right now and then north toward about Underwood or so. So if you are headed out tonight, uh, just plan for a little bit of slick spots. You can see uh, this system. You know, it had a little bit of zip to it as it crossed through. Some moderate to heavy snow fell in the Bismarck area for a short time this evening, right after the sun went down. But this system quickly moving off to the east. Then we're watching another system that may bring just a little bit of light snow or flurries to the northwest uh, tonight. You can see here in Bismarck, if you take a live look outside, roads still snow covered out there. But again, really, it's not bad enough that it should slow you down a lot. 23 right now in the capital city. Calm winds, so thankfully not really dealing with a lot of blowing and drifting of the snow like some places were this morning. Here's temperatures right now across the region. They're not too bad, mostly in the lower uh, 20s and upper teens. It looks like the cool spot right now is Crosby. You can see those winds still out of the south here. Really not too bad. Uh, they'll be continuing to calm as we go through the evening, becoming really uh, pretty much light and variable here. I'll put precision cast into motion. You'll be able to see you know, this system gets out of here, and then it looks like the next couple of waves or pieces of energy will be impacting the uh, north, uh, southwestern portion of the state here. Uh, so if you're southwest of Dickinson, I think that's the best chance here. You can see possibly Monday night and into Tuesday, and then uh, things should clear out for the upcoming week after that. We do have a little bit of fog possible tonight. You can see the development of that best chance the further west you get. But by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, most of the fog should be uh, on its way to becoming fully dissipated out there. Tonight in the capital city, not a bad night. 18 degrees with those steady temperatures. Still can't roll out a couple of stray flurries out there, but you can see just how light those winds are. Just two to four miles an hour. Same thing in the Magic City. A couple of stray flurries, especially as you get closer toward Lake Sakakawi. I think everybody else, though, should be snow free. Tomorrow is President's Day. Here's a look at that forecast. Not a bad day. A mix of sun and clouds. We'll see clouds thinning out as we go through the day with temperatures in the lower 20s uh, for most of us. Here's your three-day forecast for the Dickinson area. A little bit of snow possible tomorrow morning, especially southwest of town. Mostly cloudy Tuesday. Sunny on Wednesday. Temperatures warming up. We are going to have a chilly start to the week. You can see Williston, as most of you are back to school or work, single digits for highs. Tomorrow, though, not too bad. Most everybody's stuck in the 20s, upper teens, closer to the international border. And here's the extended forecast for Bismarck. You can see a chilly day on Tuesday, but we quickly warm up after that into the 40s by next weekend. Lots of sunshine and very little snow chances. Same thing in the Magic City. Average high is 26 for this time of the year. Renee, look at all of those suns on the extended <laughs> forecast. Looking forward to that. A nice week ahead, yes. <laughs> Thanks so much, Robert. Coming up next in sports, could we have the play of 2020? You be the judge. The top five plays of the week are next.